Guess who just got paid, y'all? That's right. We got stacks on stacks on stacks. Whoa, where's all that cash from? Well, my brilliant wife found a crazy loophole called wedding insurance. It's very common. It's like renter's insurance. Oh my god, do we have that too? Yes. You are a wizard. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I would say, follows in the footsteps of The Office and Parks and Rec and 30 Rock type shows. Um, a lot of SNL lineage in all of them. Um, it's a workplace comedy. Jam-packed with jokes, full of heart. God, what else could I tell you? It's the best show ever made. I think I could say that. No one would dispute that. We are getting refunded in full, so we are going on a super deluxe five-star mega baller honeymoon. So you're not just going to the Berkshires anymore? Uh, screw that crap hole. It's a dump, and anyone who goes there is garbage. I was going to take Sharon there for a romantic weekend. Oh, well, congratulations. You poor. I am so sorry. Money really changes you. When I tell you just happy and ecstatic cannot describe it, because this is the thing. This is an NBC show. It's perfect for the network. It's perfect. It, it almost feels like coming home. You know what I mean? And I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, everyone is super happy, we're super glad, and we, we have all the support. And listen, we can't wait for people to see what we have for season six. Sir, I keep getting calls about my drug case. What the hell's going on? Uh, nothing. Just deciding what to do about your sanitation issue. Like a boss. You're looking for Captain Holt's manual, aren't you? Please, Diaz. Top Dog Terry does not need to look for Captain Holt's manual. He knows it's on his computer. Top Dog Terry was looking for the password. At the end of season five, uh, the main really big thing that happened was Jake and Amy uh, got married, which was really, really sweet. That was a culmination of really five seasons of them growing as people and then eventually together as a couple. And um, the greatest thing, I think, about us ending the season with their wedding and then starting another season is that as many people know, it doesn't, it's not just, and they lived happily ever after. There's a lot of stuff that comes with marriage, and uh, I'm just super excited to see how those two handle it and how the rest of the squad handles their changing relationship. Season six picks up exactly where season five left off. We're all in the bar, and we find out whether or not Holt is commissioner. And then, I don't think I can say anything more. You look forward to seeing the resolution of um, whether or not uh, Captain Holt becomes a uh, police commissioner. Um, if he doesn't become police commissioner, how he deals with it. Um, you get forward to seeing how the newlyweds are handling their relationships, um, how Santiago is handling uh, being a uh, sergeant, um, how Terry, uh, if, uh, whether Terry will pass his lieutenant's exam. Um, uh, whether Rosa's uh, split, divorce, you might call it, from uh, from her family will resolve itself. Gina, what the hell? New phone, who this? You can't do that in person. It's Charles Boyle, your co-worker. Oh, hey, Charles. I just found out that your mom left my dad. They're getting divorced. Eh, they had a good run. Fun fact, the average American marriage lasts fewer than two days. That's not true. It doesn't have to be its commentary. They're the best people in the world. I love coming to work with uh, these guys. They're family, and uh, so many of us have um, experienced major life events in these past five years, marriages and children, and uh, it's really kind of create, created quite a wonderful group of people, true family. And I love, uh, I love coming back and seeing everybody. It was, it was really wonderful because we never said goodbye. We didn't know we were leaving. And then it was just like, gone. And so I'm glad I came back just to, for a hug. So boiled. It's a boiled thing to say.